Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Canadian Edition here. Uh, today we're rolling out in a uh, realistic battle with the Tiger, or the Heavy, this, this version of the Tiger is the Heavy Tank number 6, which is supposed to be um, a Tiger, it was supposed to be a Tiger that the Japanese ordered because their tanks weren't garbage basically, so they ordered a Tiger designated Heavy Tank number 6, and um, excuse me. It never actually got there, as far as I know. Uh, the Japanese, or the, Ger the Germans couldn't really deliver them. To their own army, let alone the Japanese. I think supplies just sort of ran out, but... It was one of the pipe dreams between those two nations. So we have a realistic battle today. Domination on Berlin. In the heavy tank number 6. In War Thunder, this is a premium 5.7 battle rating for realistic battles uh, tank and it's basically a better version of the Tiger as far as I'm concerned it's faster um, and it has a couple other features a couple of minor armor improvements so uh, there's two types of shells one shell's got a little more explosive mass in it but less penetration and one shell's got more penetration but a little less explosive filler like the you know, the amount of grams that they have in there, in the shell, the amount of grams of high explosive filler they actually put in the shell, so we're going to start out with uh, the 25 big boom shells that don't penetrate as much, but we got the 88 gun, so this should be good, this gun, this 88 millimeter gun here. Um, the Tiger was a really good, good tank, but it came a little late in the war, and um, there was never really enough of them to severely impact. Oh, my apologies to this Tiger 1 driver. I must not have been paying attention. I just kind of rammed into him a bit there. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, the Tiger was a great tank, but it never really came in the war at a time to really make much of a difference, unfortunately. The German workhorse that did most of the killing was actually the Sturmgeschütz, which was a variant of a Panzer III. You can see a couple targets downrange here as we bump into some debris and throws us off. It looks like that target's already been taken out. Try to shoot into the tank behind him, no luck. Friendly Tigers in front of us and Panthers. So as far as history is concerned, this was certainly a beast of a tank. Uh, anytime it did come across Allied tanks, it certainly killed numerous allied tanks before it was actually brought down. I think on average nine or ten tanks before it was brought down. But um, the problem was only one in ten allied tank commanders would ever run into these things, so they weren't too popular. The Germans actually used more variants of the Panzer III's, Panzer IV's, and the Sturmgeschützes instead. These were just, uh, if you ran into one of these, you were you're that unlucky allied tank commander. Unfortunately, um, the only gun who could effectively target this tank from the front was the British 17-pounder gun. Oh, we got a sneaky Hellcat here, so we're just going to dispose of him. One shot through the back of his tank, breaks his hull, destroys everything. He actually flanked us there, cheeky bugger. Looks like we got another tank over here. Around the corner of this debris here. Just gonna put one into the back of him. Oh, engine, fuel tank, and he's down. Don't know what he was doing there, but looks like he was looking over the back of his tank or something. Anyway, we're gonna make our way towards C. We've got two kills so far, and we're looking at number three here. The back of a T-34. There we go, T-3485. And there's another one right there. He bounces off of us. We get a shot into him, but it doesn't do anything. So we're trying to get between us and him now. We're trying to put this debris between us and him while we reload. We actually got the reload off. Oh, we missed. We missed our shot. Oh, he shot and bounced again. So we're coming around here. We've got, we're going to reload first, so... Boom. Commander Engine Radiator. <coughs> Looks like he actually chose to put the fire out, so he's... He's going to be dead now. There we go. Driver, loader, machine gun, and radiator fuel tank. Crew knocked out. So that's uh, four kills now. 
in our tiger here. Cheers to that guy for not stealing my kills. He probably had an opportunity to there. We're also going to head towards C. Um, we're having a good game so far, and I really enjoy driving this machine. Oh, tank sighted there on the right. Yep, and he shoots us. Knocks out our engine. Two of our crew members sets us on fire. We shoot him back before we put out the fire. Take out his commander and his gunner. So he's useless now. He can't fight back. And he's scurrying the hell out of there to go repair his tank. So we're going to repair our tank. 65 seconds. Yeah, that guy got us with the first shot there. Luckily, he didn't knock out our gunner, so we could take him out. So he's probably repairing his tank somewhere. We're repairing ours. And we have quite a long repair time here. And if you look on the map, you can see a friendly tank rolling up on our left. He's probably wondering what the fuck's going on. You can see him trying to figure it out. We try to signal him where the enemy is based on our machine gun. Oh, he's got someone. Looks like there's an enemy T-34 around that corner there. Boom. AA tank. AA tank just took a couple shots at us there. Oh, and there's the T-34. Boom. Bounces off of us. And we knock him out. One shot. So the T-34 is dead. Oh, there's that AA truck again. But we didn't do it. Oh, he's down. AA truck's down. Now, if you're smart, you'd remember there's still a comet from earlier. He knocked out his gunner, but he's still in the game, so we're, the, we're wondering where the heck he's gone. And we can actually just see him right here. If you look closely, you can see his little antenna. So we're trying to get a shot away. So I don't think we can get one through. So we're just trying to suss out the situation here. It looks like he's popped a smoke, so he's moving out. So we capture the zone, and we're going to try and look through this building here and see if we can spot the comet. And if you look through the building, you can see him there. So we know he's trying to flank now. We miss our shot there. We could have had a shot there. We missed it. So we're going to wait for him to come around. Oh, there he is. Boom. Done. Now that was the guy who put the bullet in us and knocked out our crew member and damaged our tank there and set us on fire, so that was a sweet kill. That guy wasn't going to go down easy. So we're just looking for other tanks to knock away now. We've got quite a few kills in this particular game, and I'm, I really enjoy playing this tank, this Tiger. If you can still find it in the premium uh, store there, I would, I would pick her up for sure. She's a good buy. Definitely the best Japanese premium, in my opinion. Um, I think I got this tank a half price sale for 20 bucks. Came with a tank and a bunch of Golden Eagles and premium time and stuff. 20 Canadian dollars, so. I don't know if it's still in the store or not, but if it is, I highly suggest you guys pick it up. It's a sweet tank. So we're making our way towards the B point here, trying to get a cap in. Uh, we're in the circle now. Some damaged planes around us. Unlucky pilots. We got a friendly Austin. So we're going to try to use our binoculars to see if we can spot anyone on the uh, ridge line there. We captured the zone as well. So we're just going to do some crew replenishment. This uh, restores a crew member at the cost of like a thousand golden eagles, or uh, silver lions, sorry. A thousand silver lions. And we're also restocking some ammo here. 
but once this crew member's good, we're gonna head on over to A because we can see there's a tank that's going near A. So we're gonna try and engage that tank before he captures our zone. Just taking a quick look because I had a feeling I would get shot up the side there. But I uh, thought better of it, and we're heading towards A. As you can see, this tank's pretty maneuverable for a big tiger slogging through the mud here. I think it's got a more horsepower than all the other tigers in the German tree. So, it's a real treat. Okay, we have no sign of the enemy yet. Well, what was that? I think I just saw one over there. Yep, there's an enemy tank. Right through the side. Boom, got him. That's a Sherman Jumbo tank, so those are actually quite annoying if you're engaging them from the front. We knock that guy out. Okay, it looks like there's an enemy tank over there. I'm trying to get a shot on him, but we can't. We're going to keep moving. My thought process here was to get around the back of this uh, cement, try to get in the cover, cap the zone. So I was trying to spot the enemy tank, I think there's an enemy in there somewhere, getting a little bit nervous. But eventually, I will cap the point, I'm sure. One thing about War Thunder Realistic Battles is it's better to play safe than sorry. It's easy to look back at replays and think, oh, why didn't you just go cap the zone? But, um, it's better to play on the cautious side than just charge in like a moron and lose your tank and go back to the hangar. So we're still trying to locate the enemy. We don't actually realize that that tank's already dead. Our friends are fighting someone over here. So this irks our attention, and we're going to drive around a corner and see what's up. So the panther takes a shot, and then drives on. That tank's already been knocked out. It looks like the enemy are on their heels now. We control all three points and we're heading towards their spawn to choke them out. And that's the end of our replay.